Mums and dads, welcome to the Kitchen Daddy cooking channel. Today, we're making a stunning raisin and date porridge. I make this for Max and I when he's going off to school, so he's got loads of energy for the morning. Um, it's really good, so what I wanna do is show you how you can make it for your kids, but also how you could transform it into a really great breakfast for yourself. So to kick off, we need some porridge oats. Now for this, I'm using these extra thick rolled oats. Now I like them because they've got a little bit more texture to them, they're less refined than some other oats, but look, use whatever oats you want to. But my recommendation, try and get these extra thick ones. So we need a cup of those, which is roughly 100 grams, and let's add them into a saucepan. Next, I've got these lovely medjool dates. Now, you've got to go and find these. Medjool dates are by far the best dates you're going to find. And they're packed full of this lovely sweetness, richness. Ah, they are gorgeous. They're absolutely gorgeous. So, most importantly, we need to remove the stone. So, all you've got to do is just tear them open, remove that stone. And for this recipe, I'm only using two dates. That's it. That is going to be plenty to sweeten this up. Now, if you're serving this for your kids, a little bit of familiarity is gonna help you out no end here. So let's grab a handful of raisins. So that's roughly about 20 grams. We're gonna add them into the saucepan because you know it's like all kids love raisins. So you know if they can see something which they're familiar with and they like, chances are they're gonna eat the breakfast. Then all we need to do is add our milk. So I'm gonna add two cups of milk or 500 milliliters. Now for this, I'm using whole milk, but you could easily use 2% or semi-skim milk for it. It doesn't really matter, your choice. Now, if you do need to make more, the ratio is exactly that. So it's two cups of milk to one cup of porridge oats. So if you need to make more, if you're making it for four people, do two cups of porridge to four cups of uh, milk. That easy, that's all you have to do with porridge. We're gonna cook this for 15 to 20 minutes on the most gentle heat that you can find. And it's really important this, but we don't want the milk to boil. So I wanna keep that below simmering points, just really, really gentle heat. Because if you scold milk, it, you know, it's not a very pleasant taste. So we really wanna make sure that we do not bring this to the boil at all. So just keep stirring it frequently and that will be fine. Okay, the porridge is cooked, it looks fantastic, so I'm gonna show you how to serve this for your kids and then how to serve it for yourself. Now, you don't have to be Goldilocks to know that freshly cooked porridge is thermonuclear hot. So the last thing we wanna give our kids is a bowl of steaming hot porridge. So here's a little trick to cool it down really quickly. Grab a large plate, and we're gonna put a big dollop in the middle. Now, if you spread that out to the sides, that large or wider surface area is gonna really help that cool down quickly. Now, if you're serving this for younger kids, let's bring a little bit of fun in there because the more fun we can make food, the more chance our kids are gonna eat it. So I've got some blueberries, some raspberries, and some strawberries, and yes, I'm going there. Let's make a smiley face. Okay, that's the kids taken care of, so let's make a really sexy breakfast for ourselves. Now, I need a couple of spoonfuls of Greek yogurt, and then I've got this lovely orange blossom honey. So let's squeeze that in and mix that through, and you can use as much honey as you want, however sweet you want it. As you can see, there's one rule for the kids and one rule for the adults. That's the way we like it. Now I've got some lovely berries and nuts here, so let's scatter them over, and we're gonna top that off with some of that Greek yogurt. There you go, guys, an awesome family breakfast. Something for the kids, something for mum and dad, and only one recipe. Now, I do appreciate this takes 15 to 20 minutes in the morning, and if you're like me, mornings can be a little bit of a car crash. So, what you can do is make a bigger bulk of this. It'll keep in the fridge for a day, and then all you've got to do is reheat it on the stove, add a little bit more milk, and that should take about five minutes. Or, you can make it the night before, and then do exactly the same reheat in the morning. So there are some speedy ways to get around uh, doing this, to cut out that kind of 15, 20 minute cooking time. And besides, look, it's worth it. It's worth giving your kids a really healthy breakfast. Guys, thanks very much for watching. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up and leave a nice comment below. Tell me what works for your family, what doesn't work, how can I help you with awesome breakfasts for your family? Make sure you subscribe to the Kitchen Daddy YouTube channel and you can check out the Kitchen Daddy website by clicking that link there. Thank you very much. New videos out every Monday. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.